box, he probably picked up like five other secondaries that I don't know about until that point, and now he's uh, settling on Sheik for now. He says that Sheik renewed his interest in the game, for whatever that's worth. Oh snap, so that means I would do double duty then. Alright, I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you. Now, uh, Tim Comp, Sheik Falcon, saw, I think, and it's probably gonna be uh, Samus Fox for Zephyr Law. <laughs> I feel like that the Shoot Falcon combo definitely wants stages like Stadium and Yoshi Story. Well, no, Stadium Yoshi Story would probably benefit them more, but for the Fox Samus, I would think that FD Dreamland would benefit them more. I'm kind of surprised they didn't try and strike for a neutral ground in Battlefield, but they probably see something that I don't. Okay, so it looks like we're starting in Dreamland if we're hovering over Pokemon Stadium. I actually expected a stadium to start off first, but no, it looks like we're going to Dreamland first. So we're struck in Dreamland, we're starting off right there, the game starts right now. And as the chaos already begins, Green Team starts off really strong. Falcon turns into a punching bag extremely quickly between Samus and Blocks. Racks up 111 damage before 15 seconds is even off. And obviously zoning is a huge part of the game, but I, I think Green Team has a bit of an edge here just because of how uh, not safe, but I guess how effective Fox's normals are, especially some of his aerials, the Nair and Bear especially. With with a uh, with, with some lasers, I, I I would think that Fox contributes a lot. So aside, aside from Shine too. The Zephyr, okay. So despite that, Santi, some quick Santi plays evens it out. Santi still holding on to his first stock. But it looks like Green Team is op uh, taking opportunity to try and abuse. Try and abuse Santi. Uh, no, not Santi, but beat Black PR for now. And if Black PR continues being a punch, uh, punchy guy like this, this could be bad because Red Team is going to stay down the stock if, if, this, if this pattern continues right now. <laughs> Okay. The other thing about Samus is that she's just, she's just, she's just, yeah, she's just so heavy, so she could hold on to the hold on to space a lot and crouch at but it's also compounded with the fact that Samus' recovery is really slow. And I feel like that's something Red Team will try to take advantage of. When, when Samus is off stage, they'll try and gang up on Fox instead. And we see that right now, as as Locke is recovering, that uh, Zephyr just got counted on by Falcon Sheep. Red Team is definitely a lot more in your face than Green Team in general. But... Green Team definitely has a lot more zone control. I, I feel Green Team definitely has a lot more zone control. Just by merit of the projectiles. Black PR definitely losing his stock right here. Santi doesn't get a save. I'm not sure if it, if it was playing on it or not. Red Team's down a stock. Santi almost gets his edge guard on, on Zephyr, but Zephyr's fire is just way too close. Down throw. 
Oh. Black PR tries to do something flashy, but loses his stop for it and doesn't even kill Zephyr as he intended to. But in this case, it was something he, he needed to try and do, I think, I was going through his mind because he, he, he figured that they were behind, so they needed to make a big play. Alright, so, so Black PR gets a reverse knee, and the stocks are even, but, but Santi, dangerous percent, lock is keeping locked down at the ledge. But now, now red team's uh, regrouped at the, at the left ledge, but unfortunately it's so dangerous. Black PR goes down, and Santi's the only one left. Santi trying to hold his ground, but he can't commit too hard, otherwise he gets hit just like that. Oh, Locke misses his punish. Santi holds his ground again. Oh, and great DI from Santi. I thought that S-Smash had it. But there we go, that F smash got him this time. So that's game one. Our doubles tournament is rather small. I believe uh, there were 10 teams that entered. I don't, I don't know for sure. <laughs> 11 teams, okay. So. For what it's worth, the, the teams the teams will get stacked really quickly. Oh, Ken's in the chat. What's up? He's uh he wants to cheer on his uh, his homie El Fuego. All right, so FD, this is a pick I would have expected from Red Team. It's either this or Stadium, honestly. And Red Team does start off with a strong start. This time, Samus is the one that's being the punchy bag right off the bat. But it's not as, it's not as much as they did have liked. I, I'm, I'm positive about that. All right, so Samus is off stage, but as long as Samus still has the bomb jump, that's great. But great edge guards. As long as Black Pure refreshes his invincibility, Santi covers the the getup. And that's a great. That was a great first stock on Fox. So Samus is at really high percent. This can actually work out to to um, Red Team's advantage if they don't kill her, but they still manage to send her off stage because Fox can be, become more of a punching bag. I, I think that's something that's going on through Black PR's mind and probably Santi's mind as well. But Sheik Fair does kill Samus, so that's still that's still a good good result. Missile kill, almost kills Zephyr. Right now, Black PR is tanking stocks. Maybe not what he intended to do, but it's definitely working out for him. That stock, gone. Alright, so she, she goes down. So the stocks are even right now. But Samus is in that, that uh, almost death percent right now. Black PR opting to go edge guard Samus right now. Rather than attack Fox, Fox is in edge guard position. Oh, he gets the the meteor cancel. No nipple spike for Falcon this time. Samus gets. Oh no! Black PR misses his stomp knee combo. But great edge hog from Santi gets that stock. Red team's up two stocks right now. Very. Uh, Small lead, uh, ultimately, but never mind. Great knee sends that to, to a three stock lead, even bigger lead right now. Green team is on their last stocks right now. This counter pick definitely working out for uh, red team's favor, as much as as much as they needed to. Green team is just being pushed to the corner. I, I think it definitely looks like a loss of the platforms made them lose a lot of stage control. Which is honestly kind of what I expected. 
so if we go by that logic, I would think either either Battlefield or Dreamland would be the not Dreamland. No, sorry, Game One was on Dreamland. Either Battlefield or Yoshi's Story would probably be the, the next of these counter picks, unless they get surprised with Stadium. I'd say Battlefield. Uh, unless they agree to go back to Dreamland, but I really don't think they want to agree to go back to Dreamland. Excuse me. Stadium counter pick? It looks like I have been pleasantly surprised. Now I know that this is uh, traditionally a Fox counter pick with singles, but there is uh, there are points to benefit all of these characters generally in this setup. Maybe not Sheik in a one v one scenario, but in a double scenario, definitely favor definitely gives Sheik more of an edge. Oh, Santi wanted to Zephyr to get hit by the missile, but. Miscalculated Zeps! Santi! Off to a rough start right now. And it looks like. It looks like Red Team's taking a little too many. A little, one too many gambles right now. Green Team is close to death percent, but they need to play a little bit more carefully. Alright, so Samus misses the grapple, or something, he misses recovery, gets stuck underneath the Pokemon Stadium lift. Stocks are even, but Santi keeps getting beat up on. Ken's, Ken's homie El Fuego gets up smashed on the tree. And we got we got a battle going on for on the left side of the, on the stage. Okay, so they're moving out of there. Ooh, Locke tries to save Zephyr, but instead helps Zephyr or helps helps Santi get the kill on Zephyr. Looks like Red Team, I, I, I'm pretty sure Green Team's picked up on this, but Red Team really likes to fall back to the, the left side of the stage as a safety net. Uh, well, maybe not as a safety net, but it's either a safety net or getting forced out, uh, forced there for the most part. Because a lot of the fighting seems to just congregate on the, on the left side of the stage for this whole set. Oh no! The friendly knee! Red team trying to get their bearings right now. Uh oh. That's not- that, does, that don't look good. That does not look good. Black PR having to fight a mountain right now. Not looking good. Now he's being forced on the right side, on the right ledge! Rock formation! Rock formation, oh no. That's it. Locke tried to style with that unnecessary charge shot, but unfortunately, that was the game. Yeah. 